Hello and welcome to yet another dimension. I am Jeremy. Lucid Espresso can't be here today because he is under the weather right now, but he'll be back in the next dimension. But first, check out his t-shirt line on Cole High Squad on Etsy. Link in the description below. And let's get on with the review. So Demon Slayer. I just watched episode three of Demon Slayer. Sword Smith Arc. Village Arc. Village Arc. And I liked it. I liked it better than the last episode. The last episode was kind of, you know, introducing some characters. We have Kotetsu. Kotetsu. He was, you know, he's decent so far. Uh, but there's a lot of action in the second half of this episode. And a little comedy in the beginning. You know, I, you know, I like the mixture of comedy and action and seriousness and they had that split right in the middle almost but i yeah i really enjoyed it and it introduced the uh demons that they're gonna be facing and like their power some of their powers and i was really interested after uh the upper four showed his power and i was like oh man they got me again because demon slayer one of my favorite aspects of it is the powers and the abilities of the demons. Like that really hooked me because the, I remember the first, I forgot what it was called. They're in the house and the guy's using the drums as his power. I know Lucid knows what, what that is, his name is, but I love that ability. And, and like Muzan, he's one of my favorite villains. So this like is just showing you, you me. I'm like, they keep on surprising me with the abilities of the demons. But it begins with like, uh, T Tanjiro, he takes the 300, uh, 100, 300 year sword out of the dog because he destroyed it. And like it, it, it turns up being rusty. So he's like, you know, they're all sad about it. But some giant looking man rips, he's swole as hell out of nowhere. Is <laughs> It's Tanjiro's swordsmith. His name is Casey right now. But it's his, I, 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 when I first seen it, I'm like, who's this guy? Why do they seem like he knows him? But I didn't realize later on it was his original sword swordsmith, and he's been training, trying to make him a better sword. And I was like, "Oh, that is so sweet." Tanjiro was like, "For me." So yeah, I thought it was funny. And um, another swordsmith comes out of nowhere. He's like, "Oh, you, you can stop him by rubbing his side, uh, you know, tickling his sides because the sword, the buff ass swordsmith, he was trying to take away the sword. He didn't. I guess he doesn't have any social skills. Nobody wants to." Him to be his swordsmith, so it, it gave him more like sympathy. It made me like like him more. So yeah, he he takes the rusty sword and gives Tanjiro a different sword, and he goes back into the forest. And I was like, I, I was like, well, that was strange, but I never expected him to be, look like that. From what he would used to be, it was insane. Uh, so I see Tanjiro was hilarious in this episode because after that. He goes and uh, he start, He just goes where Gen Genya is, uh, the brother to the Wind Hashira. I think, yeah, the Wind Hashira. And uh, he goes in there and he just starts talking about his day. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, this happened. You know, it was crazy. And like, Genya is like, why are you talking to me? I'm not your friend. <laughs> you broke my wrist, you bitch. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and Tanjiro's like, aren't we friends? Like, Tanjiro, I don't know something wrong with him where he thinks everybody's his friend or. Everybody is gonna be nice, and uh, <laughs> I know everybody knows somebody like that. But you know that's that's who he is. That's who Tandra is. He's just just the kindest person in the world. And uh, I guess because he's a demon slayer like him, Tandra thinks that's his best friend. But Genya, he's like no. Nah. And then <laughs> what another funny part of this episode when he's like holding his tooth, like Tandra, just imagine keeping somebody's tooth because I guess like Genya, he earlier in the uh, season. He threw out his tooth. He's like, "What? Don't you lost your tooth?" He's like, "How do you know that?" And Tanjiro was like, "I have your tooth." He's like, "What? Just imagine somebody kept your tooth after you lost it. How nasty that is!" And Tanjiro has no idea. So that like interaction was really funny. And I wonder why he loses his tooth. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with that yet, but I'm excited to see so more entry with Genya. I like him so far. I like their dynamic. Uh, between Tanjiro and Genya. And also, I like another dynamic between uh, Tanjiro and Uchiro. Because Uchiro, he's like very deadpan, stoic. 
and also Tandro once again, just because he's, I guess he's a demon slayer. Tandro feels like he needs to be friends with Muchiro because he, I, he acting like they're they're friends like, again. Yeah, he's like, and then Muchiro was like, why do you, why do you like to help people so much? Like, why do you want to hang out? And uh, then uh, Tandro says something that makes uh, Muchiro like stop in his tracks. She's like, what did you say? Tantra was like, um, he says, uh, I mean, like when you help people, they it usually comes back to you and they help you in some way. And, and it makes Mushiro is like, huh? I like, I can't like, I can't believe you just said that. It's like, what does that mean? Huh? And then he starts like tilting his head. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then Nezuko wakes up out of nowhere and then like bumps his head and then <laughs> Muchiro is just like this. This is an odd creature. Like he never met her before. Like these, he, this guy is like he's insane because he just doesn't know what's going on. He just in his own world. And he's just super strong. Uh, but he just goes like his oh, lean his head is like, huh, huh. And then Nezuko starts doing huh, huh. And then Tanjiro is like, hmm, hmm. I thought this was like one of the like cutest scenes of uh. Demon Slayer because it comes out of nowhere where he like they're just thinking and then right after that happens we have the upper four demon literally just walk in there under I mean I guess they detect him too too late he just walks in the fourth wait yeah no the fifth strongest demon in the world just walks in casually as they're having this sweet moment so that was like a hilarious moment in this episode he just walks in. He, and I was like, why did he just walk in and not attack? And he, this is the one that he's always crying. Like, he's like, oh, the master's mad at me. So he seems he seems weak, but you knew something. Because he's the fifth strongest demon in the world. So, like, what... He obviously is super strong. And it shows him, like, how. Because they try to... They, uh... Muchiro's first... He goes right to his sword and, and attacks him. But he misses, so he's big. He's fast enough to move out his way, and then finally, uh, I, I believe, yeah, Much, Mushiro, he cuts off his head because, but, um, but it comes back. He grows another body throughout his, his severed head, and then another one grows off his, uh, you know, off, uh, his torso. And I was like, oh, yep, yep. And then they start showing, like different emotions i was like oh i know what they're doing so every time they cut off his head a different emotion comes out so i don't know if it's unlimited or what what's going to happen with that there's I, I believe the first one the oldest one also they, they get younger the oldest one was uh fear i would say and then it was joy uh anger and then uh sadness and like they just kept on chopping chopping the, their head off and that's not their weak spot so i was like from going from like that sweet scene to that it was like whoa it surprised me a lot and it made me like this episode a lot more and um i'm literally interested to see what they how like this demon fights and also i forgot in the middle of the episode right after the scene where uh tanjo swordsmith takes the, the sword a little bit after that a uh, swordsmith has come back from the uh the spa the hot springs i mean and uh this, he sees a vase and the vase is like what why is it there he gets closer and he gets like straight out of a horror movie like he gets sucked up into the vase and this is not like oh you turn away really quick from the camera he spits him out he spits him out and he's like he's a puddle like a mass he's still alive a little bit that was like horrifying uh and that was like really creepy it's just crazy how this show this can get you sometimes with the horror aspect so I, I love that scene. And he says, like, oh, yeah, ugh, the swordsmith, they, they taste disgusting. The upper uh, five uh, demon. So I forgot I forgot his name. I'm sorry. Uh, but he's in this, too. So I, they have a lot to deal with, uh, those three. And now hopefully um, Miss Siri, she comes soon because, like, they she need they need her help badly. Uh, but I'm looking really looking forward to the next episode. They already started to find the demons. So this, I don't know, I guess it's going to be a shorter arc or this is going to be like super long fight, but I'm looking forward to it a lot. So I would say the beginning of the episode was just okay. Unfortunately, I don't like the, 
dynamic between Tanjiro and uh, Kotetsu. I think they're just too alike. I like it when Tanjiro is like with people that like are completely different from him. Because like you know the trio like uh, Zenitsu and, um, and Nosuke, they're really uh, different from each other. So I like that a lot. So I think their dynamics was it was okay. It wasn't as funny as like the later part of the episodes. So I think that was the weakest episode, weakest part of the episode. But the middle part and definitely the ending was great, and uh, it really made me look forward to the next episode. So I would give it. Hmm. Man, I really like that those two scenes before. I'll give it a seven point five, okay? Because I don't know, like the the first half of the episode, it was just okay. I was like, oh, hopefully it gets better, and it did. So I'm I'm gonna be harsh. On, I'm not too harsh on it because that seven point five is still good, but I don't think it was a completely good episode. But the second half was really good though. But let me know what you think of episode three of Demon Slayer. Sword Smith Arc, Sword Smith Village Arc. That's a lot. I'm just say season three eventually, but uh, let us know what you thought of episode three, and please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for all the support, and we'll see you in the next dimension.